Then it goes on. Paul says that's just, that, and we're just still getting started. Galatians 4 verses 6 and 7. Because we are his sons or his daughters, his children, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. The spirit that calls out Abba, Father. So you're no longer slaves. You're children of God. You're a child. You know, sometimes in an adoption, you still kind of feel like you're a third wheel. You're not really, okay, I'm, I'm so thankful that I was brought into the family, but I'm still not blood. Well, God says, I don't want you to even think like that. I don't want you to even begin to think like that. So the very same spirit that is my, in my son, I'm going to put the spirit of Christ in you. So that you're not just an adopted third wheel person. No, you have the spirit of my son in you. You are a new creation. In John chapter 17, Jesus, part of his prayer was, Father, may they be one with us as we are one. And that's what this whole adoption and the Spirit of God, that's why, the, that's the significance of stuff, of this being able to call God Daddy. It's because we're not just, we don't just have this legal agreement of adoption. We've been born again. We're a brand new creation. We have God's Spirit in us. That's awesome. I, if, I, I hope that I'm able to even convey how amazing that is and then he says and since you are his child God has made you also an heir I, I, I don't know if I have anyone in my life that may leave me something maybe I'll get a letter in the mail someday and I'll be able to pay off my visa or something. I don't know. You know, but don't we all dream of maybe having something that, that, that windfall? Friend, Paul says that you as a follower of Jesus Christ are an heir to all that is God's. I know there is no way we can wrap around that. But hopefully in trying we get inspired. Everything that is God's. He says, you're part of the family. You're my, you're my child. It's all yours. So Paul, looking back 55 years after the fact, said, that's what Christmas is about. That's what Christmas is about for you and me. <laughs> it's about redemption. It's about Jesus, the begotten Son of God, being willing to come and buy us back and pay our debt off. It's about adoption. And it's not about whether you're good enough for that group or this group. It's about will you surrender and trust and say, Father, I love you and I repent and I know I've broken your standards and I need you. And opening up and God says, come on in. It's about love and grace and a family. It's about God putting the spirit of sonship in your heart so that you're not just a legally adopted child. You're one of the family. You can call him Abba, Daddy. It's about becoming an heir. Of all that is God's. Oh friends. Live with dignity. Live with hope. Live with joy. Never let your face be downcast. Know who you are. You're a child of God. It's wonderful. I am so thankful for the love that my, you know, my uncle and aunt poured into my life. It, it, it truly made a life changing difference in my life. But I want you to know their love really was just a reflection of God's love. And God wants to have that kind of impact and investment in your life. He wants to help you. He wants to lift you up. He wants to help you change your life that it might become all that you want it to be and all that He wants it to be. This is something that, that, that also just really blows me away. This is, this is how good our Savior is. This is how good Jesus is. Human nature. Just imagine with me, even if you haven't gone through it personally, you can imagine that how this happens sometimes. When there's an adoption, if there is a child that is quote unquote blood, okay, we'll just say it that way. Sometimes, I've seen these scenarios, they're like, if they're old enough to understand, I don't want mommy and daddy to adopt another child. They're going to, I'm going to have to share my stuff. They're going to take some of that attention away from me. You know, and if they're older, they're thinking like the prodigal, the, the story of the prodigal, uh, the older son was mad because the younger one came back. He said, wait a minute, now I've got to split my inheritance with this guy. 
Jesus, our true elder brother, he said, I'm not only fired up about getting new brothers and sisters, I'll lay my life down as payment for the adoption fees. How awesome is that? He wants you to be his brother and his sister. He's fired up about redeeming you and bringing you into the family. Friends, that's what Christmas is all about. And so today, if you don't know Jesus as your Savior, the bad news is, you're toast. <laughs> you're burnt toast. Your history, you're condemned, you're broken, you're dead, you're an object of wrath, you're on the outside, you're not part of the family. Not good. And you got to hear that. The good news is, what Christmas is all about is that Jesus laid his life down. He came and grew up and re he laid his life down so that you could be adopted and redeemed and forgiven and filled with God's spirit and made part of the family. And so if you haven't ever surrendered your life to Jesus, I can't imagine why you wouldn't do it today. Friend, come and, and say, I want Christ to be my Savior today. And if you know Him, what a great reason to not just let Christmas do you. Let's do Christmas. Let's worship Him. Let's take some time every day this week. Put a card somewhere in your house that says, every time you wake up, praise God, thank you for adoption. Abba Daddy, I love you. Thank you for your spirit. I'm so glad to be part of the family. You know, let's live for him.